Today I'm going on a whole new adventure, but as a mushroom. I have a bunch of special abilities like being able to float thanks to my mushroom cap. I also have new places to discover and a mushroom themed house to build. Let's get started. I spawned into this lovely plains biome, so let's quickly get some tools while it's still safe. What was that sound? Hello? What is that? That is mildly terrifying. Let's leave it alone. Wait, what is that? What? This one just did it again. Come out of this block, bee creatures. Nope, not here anymore. That was scary. I can see this pretty biome in the distance, but I want to get some tools first. I'm just gonna leave this tree floating here. You saw nothing. Let's get some stone. Ooh, what's this? Soapstone. Oh, that is perfect timing because I'm such a stinky mushroom. I'm in desperate need of soap. Can I turn it into a pickaxe? Yes, I can. The cleanest pickaxe ever. Okay, now that I have some tools, I want to see what other magical biomes we can find around here. There's this magical looking one over there. Ooh, it has mushrooms. I love that. Oh no, another one of those. Oh, snake thing, please go away. Oh, it's kind of cute. Oh no, it was an accident. I'm sorry. I thought I could pick it up. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's very bad. Ah, it does so much damage and I only have five hearts. I'm so scared. Wait, I think I'm gonna... <laughs> Oops, take that creature. So I can spread toxic spores now. I swear I didn't fart. Let's check out the place over there. This biome is a giant rose field. I fit right in, you can barely see me. I noticed the sun is setting, so it's getting dark soon. I need to find a bed. Wait, I didn't expect to see this here, but they always have wool I can steal. No, a pillager. I should have expected that. Haha, <laughs> get poisoned. Oh no, I'm on one heart. Let's run away. I have another special ability, and that is launch myself up using spores. No pillager, no! I made it, let's run up to the top. Ooh, free stuff. Get the wall, get the wall! And sleepy time in the ocean. I also tried to rescue the Elias and got hurt really bad by the pillagers. Oh, what are these? Are those little ferrets? Oh my gosh, the cuteness. Do you want this? Oh my gosh, too much cuteness. I'll kill those cows to keep the balance. Let's keep going because I need to find materials for my mushroom house. But first, I'll loot this village. Yay, armor. I can wear armor higher than iron, so this is huge for me. Well, 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 so we meet again, snake. I'm scared. I also looted a sunken ship and made some iron armor. And then I saw this beautiful giant butterfly. I picked some flowers in a modded biome and saw a tiny mushroom in the ground. And I broke it and then I was sad. I also tamed a little bird and it was the cutest thing ever. I also walked through this magical forest and it was such a wonderful experience. At some point I was surrounded by biomes I had never seen before. When I saw a mushroom I got so excited but it was just a single one so I worshipped it for a while. Wait, there are more mushrooms over there! Yes, it's a dark oak forest! And the snake again. Why does it keep following me? Let's get a ton of these mushrooms so we can grow them anywhere we want. <gasps> There's a deer! Hi dear! No, don't run away! Everything runs away from me, except the scary snakes. The biomes are starting to get colder. I need to get out of here fast before my mushroom cap freezes. Oh, this one is so pretty though. The blue leaves are amazing. Speaking of blue, what is this tree over there? It looks interesting like cherry blossom. Oh, there's a whole biome of them. Whoops, I fell. I guess I'm floating down. Mushroom flyby. This biome is really cute, look at it. I'm gonna pick up some of those saplings. Oh my gosh, that scared me so bad. What kind of advancement is that? Obtain a green apple from the Skyrus Highlands? What apple? Oh, this apple. What apple? And a tree is burning. I wanna get this wood. I think it could look really cute. Oh, the ground is made of these weird blocks. What is it? Decide. Well, I can't decide where I want to build my house. Okay, that was bad. I'm sorry. But I know I've seen enough of these cold biomes, so I need to find my way back to where I spawned. Two minutes later. Oh my gosh, is that a blue village? I'm getting so distracted, but I need to explore this. Oh, look at their cute homes. And their beds are so cute. Oh, it's a thing. A random bear just came around the corner. I don't even know how to react. Oh yeah, bears are scary. Ah, run away, I'm scared. I'm not scared. I want this crafting table so bad. I'll just trade them my old crafting table. Another random forest fire? Ew, what is that? It looks like worms. Oh, it's a vine. They have so many lanterns here, I think I'm gonna steal them for my own builds. I also took all their bookshelves and even though I can't get the blue ones without silk touch, I still think I will use those later. The bear is eating, that's so cute. Can I feed them? Hey bear, do you want this? Oh, it's actually a really cute bear. I thought it would kill me. 
Actually, I realized this place stinks. Let's get out of here. I think I found the best location for my home. Look over there, just across the river is this beautiful flowery meadow. Guys, I found home. I'm excited. I'll clear out some of these flowers so I have some space to place blocks. But first, I need to set up a temporary little storage area for all the stuff I found on my travels. I also planted some spruce saplings on the hill so I have an easy wood source. But I want to use the blue skyrus wood and spruce wood for my mushroom house, which is easy to farm. But I have a huge problem with the mushroom roof. I need to get Silk Touch enchants because I can only farm mushroom blocks if I have that enchantment on my axe. Nervous toots! Ew, now it smells here. And I only now realize that I lost my bird somewhere and then I got myself a new bird because the other one is kind of gone forever. You saw nothing, let's go mining. The first thing I'm gonna get on my journey towards Silk Touch is a couple diamonds because other kinds of axes would break too fast and it would be bye bye Silk Touch. It wasn't long before I hit a scary cave. I really don't like caves, but I think this time I'm gonna be brave and see if they have any diamonds lying around. Uh-oh! Is that just modded terrain or is that a spawner thingy? Okay, I hear bones. They're gonna kill me. I'll just block the whole thing off and I'll block this one off too because I don't want stuff creeping on me. I want to make a shield because that's gonna be the only way I can get near those skeletons without getting destroyed straight away. Okay, let's do a sneaky loot stealing. Ooh, there's some nice stuff in here, especially the saddle. Is there gonna be another chest? Let's take a look. Ah, it's so many skeletons! Okay, shield up, shield up. Oh, they're fighting each other. Yes, get skeletons. Do it, you can do it. And get poisoned. I don't think it affects them. I did it, I took them all out. But now more skellies have spawned in there. I'll take them out the smart way this time. Hello there, please perish. And now the loot is mine. Ooh, golden apple and another saddle. This was so worth getting hunted by skellies. Actually, not really. And then I just mined in a straight line until finally diamonds. Oh my gosh, wait, no, 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 no. I almost used the wrong pickaxe. Let's make the, oh, I didn't bring any iron. No. Look at me going all the way back up for an iron pig, yay. This better be a vein of nine diamonds or else I'm gonna be, no, just one, no. Angry mushroom screaming noises. I got diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. Now I have seven diamonds. This is gonna be enough. Let's get back home. And now I can make my first diamond axe. This is the first time ever I made a diamond axe before a diamond pickaxe, but I will need it for the mushrooms. While I was mining, I was thinking about how to get silk touch on this axe, and I have some ideas. But first, I want to get started on this mushroom house with the blocks I do have ready. Let's plant these skyrus trees over here, and while they are growing, I'm gonna tackle this giant spruce tree over here. And it's raining. Yay! I'm gonna make a nice round circle which needs to be big enough for me to live in and small enough for me to be able to make a cute mushroom house out of it. Yes, this is good! And then this side is gonna have the entrance. Let's put a staircase here and already add the flooring so I can put my storage mess on top of it. I'm gonna raise these walls four more blocks so I have all this space to work with for decorations and interior. I also thought I could switch up those planks using strip logs of the blue wood. It's so strange building with a blue wood type. I think this color would actually fit into the vanilla game. The best part is how I can just float down with my mushroom cap and casually strip the wood. And this is our round house walls done. It's so cute and blue, I love this. I also started making a simple path with the staircase up to my house, but I realized I won't really be using it because I can just float down, but it's still cute. I also noticed this huge slash in the ground right next to my house and I don't trust this thing one bit. This just goes on and on. Oh, I hear so many mobs, but I also see iron ores. I'm gonna use that iron to make myself some shears because I want to get myself some leaves. I'll spread them along the sides of the path and on the walls of the house. And I think these walls need a huge upgrade. I want to use pink glass windows. Let's get some sand from this beach. But where am I gonna find pink dye? There are literally no normal Minecraft flowers anywhere. Oh wait, I think this mushroom is a moron. I'm standing in a field of pink flowers. So let's turn them into dye and get those nice windows. I already left some holes on the wall for them and I will even have diagonal ones. The reason I found all this spruce wood is that I think it could look so good in combination with the blue. Yes, it does! So I will use it as detailing blocks on all the windows. And of course the entrance will look cozy and sprucey too. Sprucey is definitely a word now. 
We have a door! We have a sprucey door! Yay! And lastly, the lanterns I stole. I mean, borrowed. Okay, I did steal them. I also started on a spruce trim around the top because that's where I want the mushroom cap to sit on. But now I have to do what I'm most afraid of. Trying to get silk touch for my mushroom blocks. Let's get the saddle I found in the skeleton room and find a horse. Hi, burp! Bye, burp! Finally a cute horse. Now let's tame it. Come on, horse. This is like the 10th try. Finally! Okay, this horse is kind of slow. Let's try the other one. This one is even slower. Well, good that there are tons of horses over there. Wait, that's a sheep. I meant over there. There are otters in the river eating fish. That is so adorable. Are they afraid of me? No, they're not. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm freaking out. I love these guys so much. Okay, bye otters. I need to tame horses. I finally got a fast enough horse, so let's go on our great adventure to get Silk Touch. Not you again! Stop following me, you snake! Go away! No, not you, horse! Come back! I'm sorry, I meant the snake! And then I went on a magical journey on horseback through beautiful and scary and straight up weird biomes to find the nearest village. Oh, what is that down there? Is that like a modded structure? Oh, wait, it's my own house. No, I went back to my own house! No! At least that gives me the chance to pick up some important items that I definitely didn't forget to bring. And after a while, I finally found it. I found the village again! Now I just need to capture one of these villagers and make them do what I say. I'm so evil. Ahaha, there's no escape, villager. This will be your workstation no more. Let's make you a new one. I didn't bring any wood. I'll just destroy your house. Sorry, not sorry. Villager smell. Now give me Silk Touch. So I argued with the villager for over an hour until he gave in and sold me Silk Touch. Yes, it's Silk Touch, finally! Thank you, villager. Maybe you're not such a huge idiot after all. <laughs> it's night time. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen and I wish I hadn't seen it. Babies are creepy. I rode back home with my Silk Touch book and definitely didn't go the wrong way again. I brought my horse into the house. That's weird, I know. And now I'm gonna put this book on my axe. I just gotta grab the mushroom. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. And bone meal. Oh my gosh, it instant mines them. That is amazing. I had no idea I could break them so fast just using Silk Touch. I farmed all these beautiful mushrooms and now I can finally make my roof. Take a look at this beautiful mushroom house. It's so cozy and I even added some small roof windows. But I'm very far from done. I want to upgrade this house even further. Let's add another tiny bolt straight on top of the mushroom cap. And of course it's gonna have another mushroom roof. I'm so excited to see this build finished. This is simply adorable. Let's get some clay for the next part of the build. And make some brick walls using the stone cutter. Let's add tiny mushrooms to the sides like little organic towers that are also mushrooms growing out of the mushroom house. So many mushrooms today. Even I am a mushroom. I almost died on this campfire, that's so embarrassing. Let's also add a couple leaves around the top to mix up the colors. This is so beautiful, look at this amazing mushroom house. I am very proud of myself. Happy toots. So there isn't much room in here, but because I'm a fun guy, I will add the coziest interior. No regrets. I took some time and decorated the whole place. All I have left to do is add some cozy flower pots and of course I'm gonna put mushrooms in most of them. Ew, there's a big spider in my window. I also tried to make a mushroom carpet and I think it kind of worked out. This room is super cozy and has so many decorations. And then there is this big ladder going all the way up to my own little bedroom with view of the ocean. It kind of has fairy core vibes. I had so many fun adventures but now I'm gonna settle down here. What could possibly go wrong? Ah, not the snake again! I hope you enjoyed this mushroom video. I'll see you next time. Bye!